God has 85 names in the Old Testament. Each name is designed to describe a different element of who God is or what God does. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. That's the name Elohim, the strong one, the creator God. When God wanted to relate to his creation, he gave a new name. That is the name Yahweh, which we call Jehovah. So when you read your Bible and you see the name God, you have to look at the spelling to know which Hebrew word he's talking about. If you see G-O-D, that's generally Elohim, the creator God. In the beginning, Elohim created the heavens and the earth. If when you read your Bible, you see capital L, small O, small R, small D, that is generally Adonai boss, manager, supervisor, the one who's in charge. When you read your Bible and you read the letter capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D, that is generally Yahweh, the covenant keeping relatable God. So we should not be surprised that Jesus took God's relational name to explain who he was to people since he left heaven to relate to mankind.